This video summarizes the findings of a research published in Environmental Research Letters in 2012. Mato Grosso, a state close to 1 million square kilometers located in central and western Brazil, home to extensive rainforests in the north, transitional and dry forests within savanna or cerrado landscapes in central Mato Grosso, and seasonally flooded areas within the Pantanal wetland located south. This region experiences a wet season from September to April, during which rain-fed agriculture can thrive. Soybean is the most important crop in the state, closely followed by maize. Cotton and sugarcane are also important annual crops. In 2009, the combined annual crops represented 8.1 million hectares and about 21 million hectares of pasture, enough to support 27 million heads of cattle. Agricultural expansion in Mato Grosso has occurred at the expense of the rainforest and cerrado landscapes. Research has shown intensive land use changes from forest to pasture and pasture to cropland in the first half of the 2000 to 2010 decade with possible impacts on hydrology, particularly evapotranspiration processes which represent the combination of evaporation from the soil and transpiration from plants seen here as ETC for crops, ETF for forests, and ETP for pasture in this research. Land use change is susceptible to affect these biosphere-atmosphere relationships, and it is this change that we assessed for the state of Mato Grosso as forest was converted to pasture, pasture into cropland, and forest into cropland for the years 2000 to 2009. This assessment of water use by terrestrial ecosystems was carried out using remote sensing and crop evapotranspiration modeling to quantify the annual contributions of rainforest, cropland, and pasture to the total evapotranspiration in Mato Grosso. Our results show a decrease in rainforest evapotranspiration from 50% to 40% of total evapotranspiration at an annual rate of 16.2 cubic kilometers per year. At the same time, cropland evapotranspiration doubled, but this increase was offset by the decline in pasture evapotranspiration. Pasture fluxes were at least five times larger than the cropland fluxes. This figure shows the combination of cropland and pasture evapotranspiration, labeled here as agriculture, and whose contributions to total evapotranspiration remained between 15 and 20 percent as a result of the pasture offset, as well as an important drop in fluxes in 2005-2006 due to climatic and economic factors. Total evapotranspiration increased significantly in the south and decreased significantly in the northern part of the state, while forest evapotranspiration decreased significantly in the northern part of the state. This region circle in green is closer to the Amazon forest, which is known to have experienced some deforestation between 2000 and 2009. Agricultural evapotranspiration increased significantly in the central part of the state for soybean and the northern part of the state for pasture, while pasture evapotranspiration decreased significantly in the central and southern part of Mato Grosso. These differences illustrate some of the changes in water consumptive use from land use change described in previous literature pasture to cropland conversions in central and southern Mato Grosso displaced pasture further north into the Amazon forest. Our results highlight the expanding human appropriation of soil moisture stocks, also known as green water, used in Mato Grosso's rain-fed agroecosystems.